Welcome to the January episode of the QuaiCast, a Jameer Quai podcast by the Jamly for the Jamly. And here is your host, Jameer Fan 2000. What is up, ladies and gentlemen of the online Jamly? This, of course, here is Jameer Fan 2000, and welcome to the January 2022 episode of the QuaiCast, a Jameer Quai podcast for the Jamly by the Jamly. This, of course, here is Jameer Fan 2000, and I'm going to start dispensing for your lovely ears right now the latest Jameer Quai news. Here's the latest Jamiroquai news that is updated as of the recording of this episode of the QuaiCast, which would be January 9th, 2022. Recently, on January 5th and 7th of 2022, Rob Harris, Paul Turner of Jamiroquai, and the Tronic Band member I1 Van Hetten did respective Instagram live streams promoting the upcoming second Tronic album release and Rob Harris' solo EP release. They answered questions, they had a good time, and they even shared a new, some new Tronic music on one of these streams. Both live stream, uh, both of the Instagram live stream VODs can be found on the respective tro- official Tronic and Rob Harris Instagram accounts. In also more Rob Harris news, uh, Rob Harris of, of, of course, Jamiroquai released his first single from his aforementioned upcoming four-track solo EP release and for the, for the single More Lemon Juice. Uh, he also released a, a cool music video for More Lemon Juice, and the single release was released on all major streaming platforms. DJ Mag, uh, Mag Magazine, which is a UK publication, recently published a very cool interview with former Jamiroquai collaborator and jungle music pioneer M Beat about his 25-year hiatus and return to music making. This uh, this interview and article can be found on the DJ Mag website to read in its entirety. In addition to the upcoming 21st, uh, the the January 21st release of the delayed 25th anniversary Traveling Out Moving Vinyl reissue, the folks at Jamiroquai HQ and Pitchback Playback have organized a fourth listening event to happen in London at the Soho Hotel on January 19th of 2022, as previously reported here on the QuietCast, to celebrate the 25th anniversary, of course, of Traveling Out Moving. More information and ticket access for this upcoming Pitchback Playback event can be found at their official website. Jamir Kwai's own uh, drummer and DJ extraordinaire, of course I'm talking about Derek McKenzie, he tend- continues to kill it in his weekly Me House radio DJ show mixes, uh, which releases every week over on his Mixcloud page, so if you get a chance, go to his website and check out his impeccable show when you can. And lastly, in some non jamiroquai related news, the great American funk band, of course, I'm talking about Wolfbeck, along with Corey Wong, recently released a new rarities album called Wong's Cafe, the first week of January 2022. You can check out the album for yourself from the fine folks at Wolfpack um, in its entirety on YouTube and on all major music streaming platforms. All links to everything discussed here in the late news portion of the QuaiCast can be found down below in the description section of this podcast episode. Coming up next is going to be a special interview of a new recurring series where I plan on um, interviewing members of the online jamly called Talkin' Quai. So get ready to enjoy this interview. The latest Jamer Quai news. Hello, Jamly. Welcome to the first podcast interview segment entitled Talkin' Quai. This is an interview segment which will be a recurring series where I talk and converse with prominent members of the online Jamly and about their experiences in and their contributions to the fan community of the online Jamly. My first guest for Talking Kwai is a very multi-talented member of the online Jamly, a musician, artist, and documentarian to the fan community. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Kira Redfern. Welcome to the Kwaicast, Kira. Thanks, it's great to be doing this. <laughs> First off, let me take a second to compliment you on your recently released Jamiroquai fan documentary from 2020 entitled Traveling Without Moving. You know, I really enjoy the rich history about the band and the present and past band members that you unfurled in your documentary. Could you tell us how this documentary came about, what was your process of making it, and what was your initial responses that you've gotten from the online Jamly into this documentary? So it came about when um, I was just like sat there and I thought that there isn't, a, like a proper documentary about Jamiroquai yet made by any fans. So I thought that, or because like, I know just a lot about Jamiroquai, I've, I've been able to like just obtain so many, just remember them all. So I just thought I'd make one just by myself and see what happens. Um, the process of making it was, it was all by me. There was like no other people or anything. And I made it on a little app on my tablet <laughs> and it was really fun to make. Um, Cause I just, I just love watching all of Jamiroquai's interviews and stuff and the songs. And it was just really fun to make. And the response was really good by most people. Um, 
all the fans loved it and i got a lot of very nice messages from it so yeah it was good Oh, that's that's really awesome, Kira. I'm glad you got great responses to your documentary. And uh, anybody on you, anybody in the online jamly listening to the Quiecast here would like to check out that documentary. It is readily available on YouTube, so be sure to check the description of this episode of the Quiecast to find that documentary and check it out on your own and get enlightened about the history of Jamiroquai. Um, by the way, for my next question, uh, a lot of the jamly have favorite songs by Jamiroquai. What is your favorite song, uh, Kira, about by Jamiroquai, and why? Um, well, it's probably gonna be uh, when you're gonna learn. I just, I just really think it's um, a great song. The vocals are amazing, like, like they all are, especially on. I really like Emergency on Planet Earth. Just all of their songs are so amazing. <laughs> oh, that's that's really awesome, Kira. We we, you know, we all have favorite songs, and you know it's pretty much well known that my favorite song, of course, will be. Just another story from Jamiro Kwai's uh, quintessentially magna opus album, uh, The Return of the Space Cowboy, from 1994, but that's really awesome. Um, as for my third question, we're going to be looking at the future of Jamiro Kwai. We have heard from multiple band members via social media that the writing and composition work is about to start on Jamiro Kwai's ninth studio album, which is their third album under their current Universal Music uh, deal, with a speculative release uh, completion date of sometime between 2023 and 2024. What musical direction would you like to see the band take on their next album? Um, it would be cool if they could like go in a like a more alive direction, as like if Automaton was quite like technical and stuff and less live. It it would be nice to see them go back to live again with like like loads of percussion and obviously great bass lines. They always do amazing bass lines and um, electric piano. I just love electric piano sounds it would be great if they could use a lot more of them as well yeah i do agree that would be that would be very interesting um now as a, a bit of a follow-up question to that ninth jamiroquai album musical direction question um where would you like to see jamiroquai go lyrically for their ninth uh, studio album which will be prospectively out sometime and hopefully 2023 2024 down the road um well lyrically i'd i'd like to see like more lyrics like stillness in time where it's like about finding happiness and stuff and like a lot of things like the return of the space cowboy like included like a lot of like raw emotions and stuff that's about it yeah that that would be very very interesting um going on to my next question uh you've shown that you have an amazing artistic ability on your social media when it comes to your art pieces uh concerning the band Jamiroquai. What is some of your favorite Jamiroquai subject matter to either paint or draw in your free time, you know, in your art pieces? Um well, I do like to draw like um about like Jamiroquai's relation to like nature and stuff. Um a lot of like emergency on planet earth themed stuff i love the like the theme of emergency on planet earth with like the white cover and then when you open it it's like all colorful inside and i did a drawing that was um i think it was like last year and it was um jk from 1993 and he's like stood in with all these plants around him and stuff and that's one of my favorite ones i've ever done well that's that's really awesome i i um i used to do art myself you know, outside of the jamly, but most of my artwork was, uh, you know, mostly of the Buffalo Man. That's pretty much what I uh, really gravitated artistically with, uh, you know, appreciating Jamiroquai in my artwork. And now I've come to my final question for you, Kira, uh, here on Talking Kwai. Uh, you are very much a very talented musician. What is your favorite instrument to play, and what are your favorite Jamiroquai songs to perform in your free time? Uh, favorite instrument is probably bass. Um... But I do play a few others. I have a didgeridoo as well. I've been wanting to play When You're Gonna Learn on it for ages. But um, uh, my favourite songs to play on um, by Jamiroquai, it's it's probably going to be Space Cowboy. It's got such an amazing bass line. And that's great. And uh, on keys, I like to play Space Cowboy as well. Because I like to get that like really warm electric piano sound oh that sounds really interesting here i mean i um i've been dabbling myself personally with the bass guitar i mean i'm i'm not of a you know musicmanship of yourself but you know i've been dab dabbling with the bass here now in my uh free time but uh as to my 
next the final question here on Talking Kwai. I just want to ask you what your personal uh, impressions have been checking out this uh, Kwaicast, uh, Jameer Kwai podcast that I just recently launched back in uh, December of uh, 2021 and uh, hopefully going to become a, a another new information source for the online Jamly, um, at least in an auditorio sense, of staying up to date on the latest happenings of the band Jameer Kwai. Um, yeah, the um, the podcast, it's great. Like I've watched all the episodes so far and um, I did. I can remember watching one about remixes and I actually found a remix that I'd never heard before and I've been really listening to that recently. So, yeah, it's great. Uh, that's really awesome, Kira. I'm glad, I'm glad, much like you and many of the people that listen to this podcast, you're getting your information uh, about the latest happenings with Jamiroquai, at least outside of the lexicon of other forms of social media. But uh, that's that's it for this first uh, interview segment of Talking Kwai here on the Kwaicast uh, Jamiroquai podcast. Thank you for taking the time to chat with me today here on Talking Kwai, and I really enjoyed our conversation, and uh, I hope you have a great 2022 coming up. Thanks. I really enjoyed being part of this podcast. And I'd like to send a big thank you to Kira for uh, doing a great interview here on the Talking Kwai segment of the Kwaicast, which will hopefully become a fixture of future episodes of the Kwaicast podcast. But uh, that's it for this episode of the Kwaicast. I hope you enjoyed all the information and uh, the great interview with Kira. And uh, be sure to look be on the lookout for more Kwaicast podcast comment content to come as we enter into this new year of 2022. And um, massive thank you to everybody on the online family who have been checking out these podcast episodes. I like I said, it, this is a new venture for me, and I think I've done a pretty good job on covering all the latest happenings with Jamiroquai. And be sure to consult the description page of every episode of the Quiecast for more links to everything that is discussed on future episodes of the Quiecast. As always, this is Jamiro Fan 2000. Thank you again for listening, and I'll see you again really soon with more of the Quiecast podcast. Have a lovely day, and have a great 2022, everybody. I'll see you soon. <laughs>